Alright, Daddy's here with another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we are having a little cup match against RJ from Discord. If you guys would like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below. Also, as you guys have probably already noticed, the video quality in this video is going to be much higher. I'm actually using the Citra 3DS emulator, which basically upscales all the models to like 1080p HD, so my video should look a hell of a lot better. It also gives me access to the ability to change the battle backgrounds and stuff in Wi-Fi battles, which lets me be a little bit more creative with my uploads and stuff. So I hope you guys will appreciate that. And uh, I would appreciate if you guys would leave a like on this video because the uh, Citra battles definitely take a little bit longer to make uh, just because Citra doesn't really run very well. It's not very optimized yet. Um, but yeah, anyway, into the team preview here. My opponent has a Bronzor, Frillish, Porygon, the... I almost said Girder. The uh, Timber, rather. Uh, Ponyta and the Trico. While looking at my team, I'm rocking a Timber and Bronzor of my own. Fungus, Abra, Growlithe, and the Chen Chow. So this battle is really fun, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Timber, as my opponent is going to lead off with his Bronzor, and I kind of figured he'd probably do this to try to set up the good old Stealth Cox, and uh, I'm going to try to not let him do that, so I'm going to go for the knockoff, it is super effective, and also on the off chance if he was like the berry variant of Bronzor with like the recycle shenanigans or whatever, that could be very annoying, but uh, we see he's actually the Eviolite set, so uh, that's actually <laughs> even better for me, and uh, he's going to go for the Toxic here, which normally would be a bad thing, but I actually have the Guts ability, so he's going to activate my Guts, give me, giving me an attack boost, and because I knocked off his Eviolite, this Drain Punch is going to be able to kill him, so that is fantastic for me because now your boy doesn't have to worry about his opponent setting up the, uh, the Stealth Cox here, so my opponent is going to bring out my little Ponyta, <laughs> and uh, I love Shiny Ponyta, I love the, uh, the, the blue flames or whatever, it looks pretty badass. And uh, here my opponent's actually going to go for Bounce. I wasn't actually sure this thing got Bounce uh, in this low tier, but I knew Rapidash got it, but I wasn't sure Ponyta got it, but apparently it does. And uh, I just went for the Drain Punch there just to try to get damage. I kind of wanted to see what he would go for, honestly. And uh, obviously here I'm going to have to swap out because I do not want to take a super effective Bounce. I could probably live it, honestly, just because I'm Eevee Light and Girder, or Timber is relatively bulky, um, but I just don't really want to do that. So I'm going to bring out my Chin Chow here on the resisted bounce, but it actually still does a dick load of damage. And uh, that kind of leads me to believe that Ponyta is uh, choice banded. Here, I kind of figured he would swap. He brings out his Trico. I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch here. Try to maintain some momentum here. And uh, here, I'm going to bring out my boy Cody, named after a uh, longtime fan of mine. Cody, if you're watching this, this one's for you, my boy. And uh, here, he's obviously going to want to swap out here. He doesn't want to take a... Uh, a Flare Blitz to the dome here, and uh, he's going to bring out his Ponyta. I kind of figured Frillish would come out, um, so I just went for the Wild Charge, but either way, it works out, and uh, I get some pretty solid uh, chip damage off on this uh, Ponyta here, as my opponent is also going to go for the Wild Charge, and that does a dick load of damage, holy hell, which uh, once again reconfirms to me that that thing is definitely Choice Banded. So he's going to take a dick load of Recoil, and then this Wild Charge, and uh, my opponent decides he does not want his Ponyta to go down just yet. He's going to bring out Ducklet and the, uh, oh, the yes, fucking Daddy. Porygon. And these things are always bulky. His download's going to activate, giving him a special attack boost. As if things weren't bad enough already. <laughs> so here, I'm just going to bring out Sydney once again. I kind of figured I don't really need my Chin Chow much anymore. So I'm just going to stay in here. I am a uh, choice uh, scarf. I almost said specs. But uh, I'm going to outspeed him and go for the Hydro Pump, basically just to get chip damage and uh, let him try attack me into the next galaxy. <laughs> so, unfortunately, Chin Chow is going to go down here, but uh, his, uh, his death was not in vain here. I'm going to bring up my boy Mo Lester here and uh, basically fuck this Porygon's face. But of course, he's going to swap, and I kind of figured he'd swap, so I'm just going to go for the knockoff here and uh, basically just to try and knock off something's item. But uh, he actually brings out the Trico, which is going to get completely dicked by this uh, this knockoff here that's going to actually kill off the Trico. So I don't have to worry about that thing. And uh, now my opponent is going to bring out his own Timber, so now we're having some hot Timber on Timber action here. And uh, I'm just going to go for the knockoff, basically to get rid of this thing's Eviolite. 
because uh, without Eevee Light, this thing's really not all that bulky, so my opponent, on the other hand, is actually going to go for the bulk up here, raising his attack and special attack, which uh, is kind of kind of scary, honestly. <laughs> this thing could be a problem, and uh, I kind of want to conserve my own timber in the back. I definitely don't want this thing going down, so I'm going to whip out the tip, and ladies, if you ever get your, your uh, man's pants off and his tip is purple, he should probably get that shit checked out. That shit ain't Christian. So here he's going to go for the knockoff. Or no, sorry, he goes for another <laughs> He goes for another bulk up. So he's at plus two attack, plus two defense. And uh, now he's going to go for the knockoff and get rid of my Eevee Light. But uh, I'm going to wave my uh, tip around and go for the spore here. And put this thing to sleep. Because now that he's at plus two, this thing is definitely a damn problem. So now I'm going to go for, I'm basically just going to spam some sludge bombs here, basically trying to get this thing as weak or as low as possible that I can just bring out my own timber and uh, kill this thing off with a mock punch or something. So, or maybe hell even kill it off with Fungus here. And uh, that second fucking sludge bomb almost kills him, but uh, he's actually going to wake up here and go for drain punch of all things. He would have been better off prob. well, I don't know. I can't say. Um, he probably would have been better off going for another knockoff there, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, the Drain Punch is resisted, and I actually live on two fucking HP, and, uh, I'm able to go ahead and Sludge Bomb his, uh, Timber there, and get rid of that, so I don't have to worry about that monster threat anymore. So here, he's gonna bring out My Little Pony again. He's actually gonna go for the Morning Sun. I was actually leaving my tip in here to die, but, uh, he's actually just gonna go for that, and I'm just going for the Sludge Bomb. I, God, I'm kicking myself for not going for this spore there. How fucking, it just, how immaculate would that play have been had I gone for spore there? But anyway, he probably wasn't expecting me just to leave my uh, Fungus in oh, to yes, die. Daddy. But honestly, at this point, I don't really think I need it too much. He's going to go ahead and bring out Ducklet again and uh, get another special attack boost. I'm just going to go for the Sludge Bomb, try to get some damage off on this thing, and he's going to Ice Beam me. And uh, that's fine. Fungus basically did his job getting rid of that damn timber. That thing was a monster. And uh, here, I'm going to bring back out my boy Molester. And honestly, Molester kind of cleans up my opponent's team, really. And uh, here, I'm just going to go for the Mock Punch. That's going to kill off the Ducklet here. And uh, I believe my, my opponent only has two more Mons. And uh, of course, I'm going to take some toxic damage here. So my opponent still has the uh, Frillish and the My Little Ponyta. <laughs> And uh, here he's going to bring out the Ponyta. Now my opponent makes an okay play here. Um, he actually swaps out, predicting the Mock Punch. And uh, he brings out the Frillish, which I should have seen coming. I probably should have just gone for the safe knockoff or whatever. But it's whatever. Hindsight's 2020. And uh, he goes into the Frillish, obviously not being affected by my uh, Mock Punch there being a Ghost type. I'm going to take even more toxic damage. So basically, he's just toxic stalling me. <laughs> Fucking asshole. And uh, I go for the knockoff, he, surprisingly he actually lives that shit. I was not expecting him to live, but uh, he's actually going to go ahead and hex me to death. And uh, unfortunately Timber's going to go down, but at this point in the battle, I basically got it in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and bring out Wet Dreams here, because uh, Wet Dreams has not seen the battlefield yet. And uh, I'm going to go for the Psychic to kill off this Frillish. And this game's basically mine, my opponent's last mon is this Ponyta. And uh, this was actually pretty shocking here. I was not expecting this at all, but apparently Ponyta and Abra speed tie. I was not expecting that at all. Um, I thought Abra was like way faster than this thing, but apparently not. So he's actually going to go for the bounce here. And uh, I actually win the second speed tie and go for psychic. Obviously, it's not going to affect him because he was up in the air, but he actually bounces me. And uh, that's going to kill off my Abra. <laughs> I was expecting to outspeed that thing and make it a 3-0, but apparently now it's a 2-0. So I'm going to just bring out my boy Bronzor, because I know that this thing is choiced in some way. Assuming Banded. But uh, yeah, he's basically locked into Bounce, and I can take those all day long with Bronzor. So all I have to do here is just go for basically two Earthquakes to kill this thing. So now that he's back on the ground, this Earthquake will kill him, and that is game. So good game, RJ. I had a blast, man. We will definitely rematch sometime. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Thank you so much for watching my content, guys. It means the world to me. I love you guys. Peace out.